Hello. The window you see here, this one, is fcheck. It's a program which plays back files and nothing else, image files. If you render a whole sequence of images like 1000 frames or 200, you can just load them in into fcheck. It's free and it comes with Maya uh, and uh, it will just play back the, the images one after the other and once it has cached the images uh, it will be uh, a playback in real time like here. This shows nothing really specific, but now you can see the two. So the first one was a one probably, and this is a three. They change in color. And there was a camera, camera cut just a few seconds ago. Now they're all in blue, and the background is blue too. Now the background turns like a sunlight, very bright. And now the camera shoots through the middle one, which was or is the two. So a nice har harmonious start with a slight color change into yellow and then back to red. That was the camera cut. And the particles, the little dots, wiggle around the uh, original objects, one, two, three. And then they s uh, slowly lose contact to the originals and finally they reassemble. I'll show you the part where they lose the contact. So now they're pretty close to the shape of the two and the three. Camera cut, one, two, three, everything is visible. And now they lose their goal, as it's called. And they look like bees in the sunlight. And now see that motion blur now? Just lovely, like a tunnel effect. That's my favorite part in the animation. Okay, i show you how I made this. This is the perspective window, and you see the uh, p uh, particles here sitting there. Actually, particles represented by uh, spheres. So um, the object where they originally come from is hidden here. And that's the delicacy, really. I don't want to show the viewer the two. So um, I unhide it, and that's what I see. So that's basically the, the original shape. It is a type font, which I created with this tool here. And in the type font, you need to uh, get some geometry in the front part, because otherwise you will get only particles at the sides. And uh, this can be uh, quite a nice process to make that. Now, when I run the simulation, you see that the original um, geometries, the letters 1, 2, 3, the numbers 1, 2, 3, uh, are warped. And that's because I applied, uh, I made them a soft body and I applied a turbulence field. And the turbulence field sits there, like watching in the background and it warps these objects. The magnitude of the turbulence field is 200. So when you invoke it first time, uh, it comes with a default setting of 5. Uh, you won't see much happening. If you decrease this to 20, for example, the effect will be much smaller. Very small, as you can see. But now you can concentrate on the color change. And the color change is a particle thing. So let's go to the particles here and here under the particle settings in the attribute editor you find the size and as you can see I animated the radius. It's uh, uh, in, in this red color uh, so I did animate it. So they're getting su slightly smaller because I wanted at the end of the animation I wanted them to be a little bit smaller when we fly through them. That's a, uh, that's a tiny effect but I just wanted to to show you that uh, this is animated too. Now the color, it's under shading. Under shading is uh, 
uh, I set everything to spheres. I could have set it to, well, for example, to st streaks, which are not visible here because they're not uh, plenty enough. Here we have the spheres, and the spheres down here have that pink color currently, and uh, this is animated too. Uh, so here it's blue, and here it's red. So I uh, right mouse clicked set keys and changed the colors. So that's that's that thing. Now um, the camera animation, or oh, actually the background. Here is a background which is a sky dome. You can see it represented here, and uh, the, this is the only light source in the scene. Pretty amazing, I think. Arnold does a wonderful job with diffuse lighting. Uh, very nice indeed, and uh, the. Sky Dome, when you render this view, for example, uh, you see the horizon here. That's why I uh, chose in my camera view an angle like this. So we look up to the sky. And as you know, uh, the I didn't render the, the geometry. So may, let's make it in, invisible again. So this is what I want to hide. Yeah. Okay, uh, now the camera. Uh, I created a camera which is called Perspective 1. And the Perspective 1 camera does this. It starts here, and now it moves to the 2. I show you the motion of that camera in the Perspective view. So that's the Perspective 1, that's the one we rendered. And uh, that's the view here uh, in the Perspective where, where I can... Oops was a hot box wrong key uh, and you see how the camera moves here the camera um, moves here and here is the camera cut the camera is reaching the three and in the next frame it jumps back and looks at all numbers the animation goes on like this so the camera stays there for a while and then it moves all the way down and looks at the objects from the bottom and then it shoots through the th the, through the two. So that's basically all there is. And in order to get you started I create a new scene and show you how you basically make a soft body. So uh, let's introduce the grid. Let's create a type font and instead of 3D type, we use the key 5, for example. And I like to change the type font here. So this is the 5 we have. And as you can see, the front face uh, is only one face. So you need to go to Geometry. And it's so well hidden. And here you have the deformable type. And when you click this, make this active, you get all the tessellations here at the front. Now you go to FX because we're entering the special effects section now and we make this uh, number five a soft body. You go to end particles because soft bodies are particles basically and um, you go to soft body and you need the option box here. Uh, the default settings are like this, just to make make it soft. But we want to make uh, a duplicate and make the copy soft. And we want to hide the non-soft object. And we want to make the non-soft object, which is the soft, uh, uh, which is the hard one, which is the five we currently see, uh, a goal for the soft object. So the soft object will be visible. This one won't be visible anymore. But the soft body, however dynamic we will animate it, with the turbulence field in this case, it will always try to get back to that 5 with a strength of 0 0.5. If we move this all the way up, uh, the soft body which we'll create now will be exactly this 5. Um, and uh, if we reduce it to 0, the new created, newly created soft body uh, won't care about its orange origin at all so it won't care whether it was a one a five or, or or a sphere or whatever so uh, this is quite a good starting point sort of 0 0.5 and uh, now we'll create that soft body uh, and reset the settings 
So what we have now here in the outliner is several things and one of the things is a mesh particle and you see already the particles here. So uh, here we are still in the section of the color so uh, we can change the color now of the particles that is. So they are red but uh, we don't want to uh, look at little dots here, points as they are called and we switch to spheres here and we already have that sphere distribution. The particle size, the sphere size here is this parameter here. Uh, you can make them very small if you like, 1.5 like this. Now um, the animation or the simulation uh, can be applied to this object here. So you create a field and in this case I created a turbulence field which as I said is um, at a magnitude of 5.0 which is very small hardly anything changes but when you raise this to 50 a few things change and when you raise it to 100 more things change the uh, turbulence field sits here in the scene, right here. You can move it here and up and um, the attenuation is the way it reacts to that specific point where it is. So when you reduce it, uh, the whole uh, object is being um, affected. Now you need to hide the original geometry by selecting it here and pressing H and now you have that simulation. And now finally uh, in order to get the goal weight uh, reduced so it uh, the particles float away and don't show the shape of a 5 anymore you need to go to the goal weights and objects. It's right here. And here you have that value which we uh, set at the creation of the soft body. If we reduce this like this, the particles won't care much about the 5 anymore. And um, you can animate this parameter of course. So for example you can start the animation with uh, this value here. Set a key. And at the end of the animation you set this to 0. 7, so it's getting very close to the shape of the 5. Set another key. So that's the animation you get now. So it's the 5. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. And the whole animation rendered with motion blur looks like this. Bye-bye.